New details tonight from Tracy, where a family is demanding answers after they were nearly gunned down while leaving a mall over the weekend. Five people, including a pregnant woman, were inside a car when gunfire rang out. Fortunately, no one was injured. Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga live for us tonight in Tracy after speaking with a loved one of those involved. Garsh Paul. Yeah, Nikki, police said it happened near this intersection of Corel, Hallow, and Grantline Roads. Now, police say they don't really have much to go off of. That is why they're asking for the public's help. But speaking with that mother, she says more needs to be done to protect something, to prevent something like this from happening ever again. Broken glass and bullet holes turned an evening out upside down. The mom means like I got to protect, I got to protect my babies. It happened in Tracy Saturday night. Mother Mercedes Bartlow wasn't in the car, but five of her family members were. They range in the age from 13 to 21. Also in the car, her pregnant stepdaughter. The grace of God to have my kids, I'm not planning a funeral. I am very thankful for that. Thankful after police say people in another car began shooting at theirs on Corral Hollow and Grantline Roads. Just before the shooting, police believe there was a disagreement that happened here at the mall, which is less than a mile away from where that shooting took place. There was no disagreement. My kids were targeted at that mall because there was a group of kids looking for trouble. Barlow says her family left the mall after they were stared down by a group of boys. The car proceeded to tailgate them and on their bumper. Next thing they know, two shots are getting fired. Her 21 year old stepdaughter was the driver and is four months pregnant. Police now asking the public for help in solving this case. Tracy Mall doesn't have any cameras. They can't even pull up to identify anybody because there's no cameras. We reached out to mall management to confirm, but they forwarded us to their parent company with no response to our questions. An evening out, leaving a family thankful to the walk away and hoping whoever did this is held responsible. And somebody needs to start talking because if it wasn't my kids, it was going to be somebody else's kids. I need you to speak up. This is this is serious. And police are asking if you know anything to get in touch with them. Now, the mother says she's going to be speaking with Tracy Mayer to see what safety measures can be added to prevent a tragedy or a near tragedy from happening ever again. Reporting live in Tracy, I'm Garch Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News. Uh, Garch Paul, thank you.